हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज पंक्चुएशन स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन वी राइट समथिंग वी यूज सर्टेन मार्क्स एंड साइंस वाइल राइटिंग दी साइंस हेल्प अस टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ अ सेंटेंस इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड हाउ इट शुड बी रेड फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पंक्चुएशन लेट्स रीड दिस पैराग्राफ फर्स्ट Ravi's mother woke him up for school he had high fever she said oh god you have fever you can't go to school today his mother was worried she wanted to take him to the doctor his father came he asked what happened to ravi ravi's mother replied last night ravi got wet in the rain now he has high fever Can you take us to the doctor he said yes sure let us go ravi's father went with them now can you understand what is written here in this paragraph exactly we don't understand what is written here because no punctuation mark is used here now let's read the same paragraph with using with uh, punctuation marks now let's read the same paragraph using punctuation marks here Ravi's mother woke him up for school he had high fever she said oh god you have fever you can't go to school today his mother was worried she wanted to take him to the doctor his father came he asked what happened to ravi ravi's mother replied last night ravi got wet in the rain now he has high fever can you take us to the doctor he said yes sure let us go ravi's father went with them to aapne dekha students yahan par in punctuation marks ki help se hame ek ek sentence ka meaning clearly samajh mein aa raha hai where there is a question where there is simply statement is used and where there is some explanation kind of thing now let's understand the same paragraph with the help of punctuation marks here ravi's mother woke him up for school full stop he had high fever full stop she said comma inverted comma on oh god exclamation mark you have fever full stop you can't go to school today full stop inverted comma closed his mother was worried full stop she wanted to take him to the doctor full stop his father came full stop he asked comma inverted comma open what happened to ravi question mark inverted comma closed ravi's mother replied comma inverted comma open Last night Ravi got wet in the rain full stop now comma he has high fever full stop can you take us to the doctor question mark inverted comma closed here he said comma inverted comma again open yes comma sure this is exclamation mark let's go inverted comma closed Ravi's father went with them full stop So students you can see so many punctuation marks are used here now let's understand when and how do we use these punctuation marks So students there are so many punctuation marks we use in English writing but here we are going to learn about most commonly used punctuation marks First one is capital letters so as we have already discussed in previous classes a sentence always starts with a capital letter means first word of a sentence always starts with a capital letter and second one is the first letter of a special name of a title means the naming words nouns they start with a capital letter second one is full stop this is our full stop it is used to end a sentence okay and third one is comma 
comma we generally use to separate a series of words if we use so many words at, at a time we use comma to separate the words iske alawa hum comma ka use kisi bhi sentence mein pause dene ke liye bhi karte hain fourth one is question mark so as we have already discussed it in previous class a sentence that asks about something or ask for something or a sentence that asks a question always ends with a question mark fifth one is exclamation mark mark of exclamation is used at the end of a phrase or a sentence that shows emotion or greetings for example oh lord wow these are exclamation marks use your what address wow good morning how sad ah uh, oh no and welcome so this is the exclamation mark and sixth one is inverted commas so there so inverted commas are used to show the exact word spoken by a person for example mother said comma you must work hard to get good marks this is the statement said by mother so we are using inverted commas here and we always use a comma before starting a inverted comma and we always use a comma before starting this inverted comma now let's understand more about capital letters capital letters are used for first word of a sentence first letter of a special name and here there is an exception i is always written in capital now let's take a look at these examples first word of a sentence always starts with a capital letter so here you can see y is in capital you should be honest first word of a special name the award was given to amit jha here amit jha is a name of a person so it is a special name that's why we are starting it with a capital letter i i is always used in capital letter i played with my sister it was i who gave you the flowers here you can see yahan par to i starting mein aa raha hai that's why we are using its capital but yahan it was i to i agar sentence ke beech mein bhi aayega tab bhi it will be used in capital letters only next is names of people manju rishi every name will start with a capital letter names of places cannot place punjabi bag names of countries and towns for example india america delhi pune etc names of mountain for example mount everest kailash here we can see the names of rivers and seas will also start with the capital letter ganga indian ocean are the examples names of days for example sunday monday tuesday etc names of months for example may june december etc names of subjects for example english hindi mathematics etc names of festivals like eid diwali christmas etc so that's it for today students we'll be back with other sessions till then take care